I think this Ben Simmons situation has been the most interesting storyline during the NBA offseason. I mean, me and a lot of NBA YouTubers have made several videos about this. If you did the math, I've literally made a Ben Simmons video every 6.2 days. I don't like beating a dead horse, but at the same time, there's a lot of stuff to go on about it. So in today's video, I would like to go over all the news that's been going on for these past couple of days because there is a lot of stuff I need to uncover and a lot of things that you guys probably don't even know about. Of course, if I can see this video best, could leave a like on the video, subscribe channel if you're new to them, post notifications. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year, and your subscription would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the video. Now, I'm not the type of person that I'm just going to keep repeating the content I make, but at the same time, this Ben Simmons situation, there's been a lot of updates, a lot of rumors, and a whole lot of stuff, but today, I have the most news that we've seen during this whole situation. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is with Doc Rivers. Now, Doc Rivers, we know that clip that rolled out about him basically talking about Ben Simmons. I'm going to play this clip right now. Doc, you think Ben Simmons can, can still be a point guard for, for a championship team like the one you guys want to become? Yeah, David, I don't know that question or the answer to that right now. Um you know, so I don't know the answer to that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That reporter that asked Doc Rivers that question did his job phenomenally. He got the quote we needed. He got the rumor we needed. And he started all of this with just that one little sentence. However, if you do watch the full on interview, you can clearly see that Doc Rivers did state that he really didn't know the answer to any of these questions. And he really didn't want to answer them, which he'll talk about in an interview that he did with Stephen A. Smith later on in this video. So even if the fact that Doc Rivers didn't want to answer the question, he kind of just wanted to get out of there. He gave them the quote that they needed and this narrative has gone on for two months. Now, I don't think it's right that Doc Rivers hasn't said anything about it, but at the same time, what can you do? I don't think Doc Rivers intentionally wanted to mess this up with Ben Simmons, and I don't think he said that on purpose to like piss off Ben Simmons. It just doesn't seem like the right move because we haven't seen a thing that said that Doc Rivers didn't want to keep Ben Simmons. If anything, we've been seeing a lot of that the 76ers want Ben Simmons, which I would think would include Doc Rivers, but the only fact is that Ben Simmons is the only person stopping Ben Simmons from staying there. I mean, I think it's kind of interesting though that ben simmons is getting this treatment like even though he's not all of that to be completely honest and he's not joel Embiid. if joel Embiid was doing this i think we could justify it but ben simmons was the one that played really bad and ben simmons is the reason that his trade value went down so i don't really know why he's getting treated like this i mean yeah i think it's some of the 76ers thought they were going to get an all-star caliber play for ben simmons but at the same time your goal as a team is to get better just because ben simmons is leaving doesn't mean your team stops you still have a team to complete like i told you guys Doc Rivers did go on first take and I do want to play this right now because this will give so much context on the situation. In sports, and you've been around it a lot, um, there's been so many times that this has happened that hasn't been reported and the guy comes back. So listen, we're going to go through it. Um, we're going to always do what's best for the team. Uh, but I can tell you up front, we would love to get Ben back. And if we can, we're going to try to do that. You know, Ben has a long contract, so mm -hmm. it's, it's, no, it's in our hands. And, and we want him back. Like I stated on earlier in the video, Ben Simmons is the only person that's stopping Ben Simmons from playing from Philadelphia. But he has even said himself in his management Clutch Sports, I made a video talking about them a couple days ago. They're going to play a really important part in this video because Clutch Sports has came out and basically said that any fines that Ben Simmons like gets from not playing, because obviously you're going to get fines for that, that they're going to basically be paying for the fines and they're okay with taking it. Which if you ask me is a pretty bold fucking move because we have no clue when Ben Simmons is going to be getting traded. Now I do want to move on from this and i do want to go to the teams that have basically been trying to get ben simmons now there are a couple teams that are really important ones like the golden state warriors and the minnesota timberwolves those are the two teams we are going to be discussing in this video right now and the warriors said the only thing that's really like dividing them against doing this is that they already have a player like that in Draymond green and a lot of people are saying this that ben simmons is basically in a way athletic version and a way taller version of Draymond green and some people have came up with this thing of like okay then trade Draymond green but here's the thing about Draymond green it's like he's not the best player on the team he's definitely not one of the best but he's also not the worst he's kind of like that piece that you like really really need to keep this team together in my honest to god opinion i think Draymond green is one of the only untouchable players on the team obviously besides steph curry and clay thompson because he plays a really important role that no one really talks about and i don't think the golden state warriors would want to trade him so with that being said yeah there's no way in hell that they're gonna get ben simmons when they already have a player like that on top of that the trade that they did propose had like andrew wiggins james wiseman and the picks that entered 
ended up turning into Moses Moody and Jonathan Kaminga, and I think there was something else involved. So with the Warriors coming out and saying basically that they're not going to trade for Ben Simmons, that leaves the door open for another team in the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now there was a video I made where I said Ben Simmons could go to the Minnesota Timberwolves, and I did say that if they had a team like Anthony Edwards, D'Angelo Russell, Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns, Malik Beasley, this team is easily a super team. However though, now that you start to think about it, it really doesn't make any sense for Ben Simmons and D'Angelo Russell to be on the roster, so there is a trade rumor going on right now that the Timberwolves are willing to trade D'Angelo Russell and I believe Malik Beasley as well in exchange for Ben Simmons. Now I mean Ben Simmons and D'Angelo Russell did play together in high school so I thought if anything that maybe they were going to stay together but something happened today that I think could honestly scare Timberwolves fans. So the Minnesota Timberwolves today for some weird reason have parted ways with their GM and I don't exactly know why it's very sudden it's very random and there's really no point I guess but it seems like Carl Anthony Towns is pissed off because he tweeted WTF after finding out that that happened. And I mean the thing is though that I don't know if this really has anything to do with the Ben Simmons trade because Carl Anthony Towns to well obviously the Philadelphia 76ers would not mesh well because keep in mind that Joel Embiid and Andre Drummond are now teammates which if you guys didn't know they had a beef back in the day and Joel Embiid and Carl Anthony Towns don't like each other either so Philly basically gets two of his rivals in his NBA career best believe I think Joel Embiid will be the next one out of Philly. Now there is a situation that I do want to talk about and I'm talking about the Anthony Davis situation that basically did get him to the LA Lakers. Now when the season started for New Orleans like the season before Anthony Davis officially did get traded that the morale on the team for the Pelicans and the whole team in general was not playing well whatsoever. For some reason the Pelicans have always been that team that I feel like has the opportunity to make the playoffs and really make some noise in the playoffs but they don't do anything. Anyways my point is this though that if the Philadelphia 76ers do not trade Ben Simmons there's a real possibility that they're basically going to be having some deja vu. By that I mean the NBA we could be seeing another situation like this where a really good team was the opportunity to be a playoff contending team is going to be messed up because of an internal situation in the organization. Like I said before, I think Philadelphia no doubt in my mind wants to keep Ben Simmons and they're doing everything they can but for some reason Ben Simmons is just like he's completely done and I say for no reason or like oh I don't know what reason. I do know the reason but I'm just saying though that I don't think Ben Simmons should be acting like this and I think that you can't justify his attitude. If Doc Rivers did not go on first take and if he is not lying and if he is telling the truth then I'm completely on Doc Rivers' side and I think Ben Simmons is being a big bitch about it. It's been said time and time again that it is not a team's fault and it's not a team's like choice to basically raise a player's trade value. If I'm being completely honest, I'd rather invest in Bitcoin than I'd rather invest in Ben Simmons. At least I'm guaranteed something with Bitcoin. Hopefully in the fourth quarter it won't fold like an envelope. Now regardless, I really do hope that Ben Simmons just gets out of there and that the situation is done because it doesn't need to keep going on. There's really no point for it to keep continuing. But there is one small rumor that I did not mention. I don't think it's true because Stephen A. Smith tweeted it and not most of our like our primary sources so take this with a very small grain of salt that's why it's at the end of the video I don't think it's that important but basically there is a rumor that Stephen A. Smith is spreading that the Portland Trailblazers basically came up with a trade package involving CJ McCollum and Robert Covington basically in exchange for Ben Simmons I think this isn't a bad trade and I think this is good for the Portland Trailblazers I just don't know if they're gonna do it though I would also like to keep in mind that the Portland Trailblazers definitely need some three-point shooters besides just Damian Lillard and well CJ McCollum's a really good one but if he leaves obviously yeah so yeah if we're looking at it it seems like minnesota is basically the front runner to get ben simmons and i mean it's not bad for the organization i just wish they didn't exactly have to trade you know d'angelo russell maybe trade like malik Baisley, even patrick beverly again and some other role players but it seems that philly honestly wants the all-star caliber play or even all-star players so i don't think they're gonna stop now in the comment section i want you guys to rate this trade that i'm about to say right now d'angelo russell and like patrick beverly let's say you know just an example like that and like a second round and maybe a first round pick some out thrown in there for Ben Simmons and then if they have to throw a cap space player throw in like I don't know any other guy rate that trade 1 through 10 me I'm gonna give it an 8 just on the fact that I think D'Angelo Russell and Ben Simmons would be a good duo but you gotta trade an all-star caliber player and they're not getting rid of Anthony Edwards ain't no way and I feel like Carl Anthony Towns should not even be considered touchable with that being said if you guys did enjoy the content make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe channel if you're new turn on post notifications I'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day take care peace if you have made it to the end of the video here are two videos on the screen that I think you guys will really enjoy. Anyways, cue the outro.